Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about how to keep that lower lash line from smudging all over the place. Okay guys, so I'm gonna jump right into it because y'all know I can talk and babble on for a long time, but I do wanna give you a quick backstory. You may or may not remember that I have very watery eyes. Like they're very expressive, you know, they water all the time, I have oily skin. I mean, you know, it's just, I got a lot going on. And so it is nothing for me to be at work maybe two hours in, look in the mirror and notice that my lower lash line has smudged all over the place. Now, I will say I've learned a couple of, of uh, tips and tricks along the way. One from my girl, Miss D. Hey, Miss D. Hey, girl. Uh, Miss D was the one who uh, told me about applying primer on the lower lash line with the Q-tip to get a more concentrated application. It, that has really changed the game. Um, I have also been setting the eyeliner with a powder or an eyeshadow, um, as well as wearing waterproof liner and things like that so those tips and tricks do help and it does vary depending on the product that I'm using or what day or what I do have going on but honestly guys even with all that being said and done it's nothing for me to be halfway through my day look in the mirror and see that my lower lash line has smudged all over the place and so I've been trying to figure out different ways of applying my makeup to kind of help that out and one of the things I discovered is that applying um, under eye concealer after I finish my entire eye. So previously I was going in and I'd do my brows and then I'd do the top part of my eye. Then I'd go in with my foundation and then my concealer and use the concealer to kind of clean up that eyeshadow, then finish up the rest of the look after I set everything in place. But what I've been doing now is going ahead and doing the almost complete eye. So the top part of the eye and the bottom. So liner, eyeshadow, all that stuff. Um, I've went ahead and do, I'm doing all of that then I'm going in and applying my concealer to kind of set everything in place. So that concealer kind of gives it a line, a barrier, then I'm setting that with a powder. Um, and doing that has really improved how long uh, my lower lash line stays smudge proof <laughs> throughout the day. So what I wanted to show you guys is just a quick I just wanted to show you guys a comparison. So on this eye, I'm going to do the whole entire eye and then set that with the concealer. And then on this eye, I'm going to do what I was doing before, where I'm doing the top part of the eye, set, you know, go in with the concealer, set that concealer, and then finish off the eye. And I want you guys to be able to see at the end of the day the difference as far as the smudging underneath that, because that's really going to tell the story for you guys. Now, because the products that I'm using have not changed just when I apply them in my makeup routine, I'm going to kind of speed through it just to keep the video going but I just want you to be able to see again what side I did what on and for you to be able to know uh, what the difference is at the end of the video so let's get into it okay, so as you can see I have concealer on both eyes this eye over here I finished up the majority of the eye so I went ahead and smudged the liner on the lower lash line as well as kind of um, added just a little bit of that bronzer to just kind of buff everything out and um, the only thing I left, have left to do is add inner corner highlight. Whereas over here, I still have to finish up that lower lash line, um, but I just did the top part. So I'm gonna blend out the concealer and finish up the eyes so that you guys can see what it looks like um, whenever I'm done using both techniques. I'm gonna speed through this part. There's no additional product on this brush. I'm just using whatever was left from applying my foundation to blend that concealer in. Okay, 
So here's what the belt look like. Like I said, how I apply it did not change. It's just when I apply it in my routine that changed. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this and then go ahead and finish up this eye. And check okay it. guys, so it has been eight hours. I apologize. I know I said I was gonna check in. That's, that's a little bit harder to do than it seems. <laughs> I apologize, but this is at the end of an eight hour day. Um, and it turns out the day was a lot busier than I had expected. We ended up going to Carowinds where it was hot. And so I put this through the test. <laughs> I definitely put this through the test more than what I would say a normal work day would put it through the test of, but I still think it's a perfect example. I am gonna put close up pictures for you guys to see quick reminder, this is the side uh, where I did it the new way, so the concealer after the whole eye. And then this is the side where I did the old way, which is the concealer uh, and then finishing up the under eye. And I want you guys to be able to see with the close ups just how I think different both eyes look. Now I will say number one the, this looks good for me at the end of the day and I will say it's probably because I did use one of my better eyeliner pencils. I used the L'Oreal, I'll put it up here somewhere because I can't think of what it is right now, but that is one of my better pencils that'll give me the most wear time so even if I was doing the old way of using my concealer then I would still get probably about three or four hours into the day before this started smudging on me but it would still smudge period anyway so um, I do want to give a little bit of credit to the pencil that was used but the concealer and powder did not change because I continued to use those same products so as you can see I feel like this eye over here is so much more smudgier than this side this side I feel almost looks it still looks put together I mean it looks smudgy but it looks like it was supposed to be smudgy whereas this one over here to me you can tell that stuff is transferred you know into you know transferred a little bit lower than it should be and it just it needs a little bit of cleanup if I were going to go and do something else uh, into the evening so I wanted you guys to be able to see I think this does a great job of showing it and again some days the difference would be even more extreme especially if I use more of like an okay pencil um, then you would really be able to see the difference but I have really enjoyed um, using the concealer as that last step to kind of hold everything in place I just feel like it has really just changed the game for me it's not using different products I'm already using them I'm already gonna put them in my routine I'm just changing up where I go in and use it. And I will be honest and say, if you're doing a more elaborate eye, you might have to go back in after putting that concealer on and still kind of cleaning stuff up. Maybe you did kind of take away some of the smudge or some of the layering you were doing. So you may have to go in and still touch up even after the fact. But honestly, guys, let's be honest, it's not going to take you that long. Okay, so I do have to give two disclaimers with this. I'm sorry, I wish it were disclaimer proof, but it's not. And I'm not one for disclaimers, but I do have to disclaim on these two things. Number one, this technique will not save an absolutely terrible liner. If it's already a terrible liner, it ain't going to save it. I did this with one, um, a Catrice liner that I have that I feel is terrible, absolutely terrible. This did not save it whatsoever. And I mean, come, come on. It's not a magic wand. Um, and I will also say, as I mentioned before, depending on what you have going on, so if it's a day where I'm sweating more than normal or I'm crying more than normal or my eyes are watering up more than normal or you know I'm using a different type of pencil, it might not get as far as this. It might not look this nice at the end of the day. It might look even more <laughs> smudgy and terrible as I was mentioning before, but that just depends on the circumstances. So I will say this is not completely fail proof. It can't save you you from every single thing out there but on a normal day under normal situations with some decent products I feel like this technique really does change the game so if you've been doing this prior to this for other reasons definitely comment down below um, oh I also wanted to mention that I've noticed that because I'm not pushing that concealer so close to my lower lash line and getting it all the way up to where all those fine lines and wrinkles are prominent. I've noticed that my concealer looks and wears better throughout the day as well. I think it's just because I'm putting a little bit more space, I'm not pushing it up so far, and I'm kind of concentrating it to areas that are a little bit smoother and a little bit more hydrated, and so it just, I'm not pushing it up so far. So it's almost like it's a double whammy. Not only is it holding my uh, lower lash liner in place but it's also helping me um, kind of apply that concealer better and having the concealer well better wear better <laughs> wear better 
as well. <laughs> so as I was saying, if you've done this prior to for different reasons, comment down below. If you have other tips and tricks on how to keep that lower lash line as smooth and as, as flawless as possible, then definitely uh, make those comments down below because you guys know sharing is caring and it takes a village. So I hope this information helps someone else out there. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. And while you're here on my channel, take a look around, see what else your girl has to offer. And if you're liking what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.